I'm John Boutel, co-founder of SlideShare. This screencast will show you how easy it is to create slideshows that have a full audio track using SlideShare. First, you'll need a PowerPoint file and an MP3 file. Upload the PowerPoint file to SlideShare, just like you would normally. Upload the MP3 file to anywhere on the internet where you have permissions to do so. We suggest the Internet Archive, since it supports Creative Commons licenses. On SlideShare, go to Edit Your Slideshow, and select Create Slidecast. Here, provide the URL for the MP3 if you've uploaded elsewhere on the Internet. Then click the Prepare for Syncing button. When it's ready, you'll be taken to a screen with a view of the slides, a zoomed-in view of the audio, and a full view of the audio. You can navigate around the audio using this drag window here. See? To start syncing, simply click on slide 1, and then drag the end marker here to wherever you would like the first slide to end. Then move to slide 2, and you can edit the begin points and the end points for slide 2. One handy thing is to play the audio from the beginning of a particular slide. You can use these triangles here and here to do this. It's useful when you're double checking that the audio is in exactly the right place. Yep, that's good. If it's not perfect, you can make fine adjustments using the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. Save your work whenever you like using the Save button. Preview your work using the Preview button. When you're finished synchronizing and ready to show the world, use this button here. When you do that, other people in SlideShare will be able to hear your audio while they view your slides. Cool!